Well, folks, this is what Queensland used to look like out, out back. Uh, be north of Roma there, um, and there was a lot of lava in this landscape quite a while ago. And uh, I was looking through uh, an aerial, some aerial photography, I noticed these aberrations, these two circles in the landscape. And circles in the landscapes, that's a little unusual. So anyway, I thought we'd have a look at it together, because I think uh, they're a bit tricky. Well, folks, today we're going to have a look at some circular aberrations I found in the landscape out in the Carnarvon uh, Gorge area, the Carnarvon National Park near Mount Moffat, actually. Uh, and uh, it's interesting because uh, I'm not quite sure what they are, but later on I'll tell you what I think they are. Anyway, if you like this stuff, hit the old subscribe button and give it a thumbs up and uh, let's get into it. Uh, I think this is going to be fun. Interceptors, immediate launch. I'm escaping to the one place that hasn't been corrupted by capitalism. Space! Well, as you can see, folks, quick trip out of Brisbane out here to the Carnarvon area. And this big area here is uh, what we're looking at. You can see these circular things up here. Don't worry about those lines. They're old roads. But here we are. So we're flying in. You can see they're really quite circular. And there's actually more than just the two we're looking at. But we'll look at these two because they're pretty well formed. And, you know, they look like impact craters, but I don't think they are, obviously. Otherwise, we'd have said that. So let's have a look at the geology and some of the topology around it. Well, folks, this is geology, and uh, you can see the circles uh, showing up there, and uh, that red stuff is lava, olivine lava, 27 million years old. All the green stuff, sandstone, 200 million years old. Hmm, this interesting. So here they are in um, LIDAR, and uh, they're quite stark, quite stark. You can see a few others there too, but We'll focus on these ones for now because they are such great examples. And uh, let's bend the geology over the LIDAR and zoom in a bit. Now the problem is the old rock in the bottom there, that's 200 million years old. And if it was an impact crater, it'd be sprayed all over the place. And it's not. Here's the other one. Very, very circular. Hmm, I wonder what they are. Let's have a look at this rock. There's quite a lot of this olivine basalt there. And it's actually, you know, uh, not that old. That's actually the sandstone. It's all 200 million. There's your basalt there. It's not that old at all because it comes from this, the Crossgrave hotspot. Uh, the word Buckland there is where this is pretty much. And the Crossgrave hotspot burnt through here with spewing olivine basalt 20 million years ago. Um, and this is why. This is the moho. This is how thick the crust is on the earth. And you'll see the, the, the line of the, this hotspot runs right through this site. So, you know, it, the, the lava just didn't come and flood all over the landscape. It came up through dikes, etc. And uh, here's the age, it's 32. By the time I got down here, it was about 27 million years ago, right smack in the middle of it. It's amazing. And this thing put out a lot of lava. It didn't just go, boom, there's some lava. It went off for a, probably a million years. So you're talking about dikes coming up through the ground and spewing lava just like you see in Iceland quite regularly it's happening right now but you could say that almost any time now what happens if this lava comes up through the ground and it hits groundwater all right now this is an impact crater this is on the moon in fact and you can see the stuff from the bottom of the crater is sprayed all over the place well it's not one of those because we've seen from the geology that the material up on the surface is 27 million years old, like this. That green would be all over the place, although it certainly does seem to have an ejector ring there. But yeah, it's a bit strange. So it looks like this was blown and the, the lava was new. Now here's another type of crater. This is actually caused by a nuclear uh, munition, we'll call it. Hey? 
uh, the Sedan Crater over in uh, Nevada. And uh, yeah, boom, this was it going off. Uh, it was a bit bigger than they thought it was going to be and spread quite a bit of radiation all over the United States. But yeah, big bang. But no, it's not one of these, obviously. This is a phreatic crater in Death Valley. And this is what I think these craters are. I think a uh, dike or a piece of that magma came up, that olivine basalt came up, hit the groundwater and blew these craters. Uh, and here's a, this is an AI generated image, by the way, of what a crater in the outback might look like. This is what it drew. Pretty clever. I've got to tell you, it's AI, apparently. Uh, there's another famous phreatic crater around the world called White Island over in New Zealand. And uh, this has had some trouble quite recently. And uh, we've, a number of people got killed. This, these things go bang in a big way and they're very unpredictable. So where was Australia? Well, we go back about 20 million years. There's Australia moving up there, coming up towards where it is now. And the old Cosgrove hotspot is just melting its way through the crust because the crust is quite thin in that area. The sandstones out there are quite remarkable. Uh, they're a very fine grained sandstone, but they do contain pebbles and rocks and whatever. And uh, they're 200 million years old. They're Jurassic and Triassic. They're very old sandstones uh, for Australia anyway. And, uh, but when they erode, they are just amazing. These are all in the Mount Moffat area. Uh, obviously there's a heavy, there's a hard cap rock up there and it's just eroded down to this. And uh, it was, it's not just this, there's some amazing stuff out there. It's well worth a trip if you like this gear. Um, you can see it looks a lot like white rock out here near Ipswich because it's the same type of sandstone. That's what it erodes to. Uh, these things are on another scale level to white rock. And uh, as you can see, there's just some amazing patterns in this sandstone where it erodes and uh, is exposed to the, the uh, uh, elements over the years. And I mean a lot of years, 200 million in some cases. And this is an arch, and it's an amazing arch, probably one of the most amazing arches in Australia. And it's out there. You can go out and see it. You can't walk over it. That'd be a bit rude. But... Uh, these things are temporary structures. If you like them, you should go and see them. And of course, our indigenous people, they like caves. It keeps the rain off you. And uh, there's quite a lot of cave art out there. Um, obviously, some of it is very, very old. In these caves, there's almost certainly burials. They had corroboree. This looks like the sign-in sheet for the corroboree. Just an amazing piece of uh, native art there. It really is. And it's all protected, but you know, protected by a piece of paper. But yeah, so look, I think these are phreatic craters and uh, there's that arch. Amazing bit of gear, it really is. You imagine the native people, what they thought of that. It must have just been so many stories. So, uh, something new for T-Rox. I think we need to have a commercial. Commercial time! <laughs> Get it? Being a goose. So many knots. Tell me how. I think I need to know now. Well, folks, there's a lot of this lava out here. Everything you see that's orange here is olivine lava from that eruption. It covers a great deal of Queensland, and some places it's 100 metres thick. So there's a lot of it. Down through Emerald, all down through, it pretty much delineates between where the coal stops and the grazing starts. And uh, our little aberration is just tucked in there on the bottom edge of it. Now, this... It starts again in New South Wales, but it takes a while to get down there. And it's because the Cosgrove hotspot, it didn't move. The Cosgrove hotspot stayed still. Australia moved. 
and uh, I've got a video coming up with some details on this, so we will definitely get into this a little more in the future. Well, folks, they're our little craters. I think they're phreatic craters, meaning that the magma hit the groundwater and just blew the hell out of it. But anyway, that's what I think. Thank you to all your new subscribers. And if you haven't subscribed, which 60% of you, 60% of you haven't, please do. Click the old thumbs up down there. It certainly helps. Anyway, till next time. Keep rocking. T-Rock's out.